Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. Wrong! The correct answer is open source software and freeware. I genuinely love this stuff. I mean, I could spend quite a bit of money on Microsoft Office, or I could download OpenOffice.org, which is almost as good, platform independent, and completely free. Of course, this doesn't always work, and you often get what you pay for. But by and large, open source is what makes the PC rock. So why do I tell you this? Well, this is YouTube, a place to post videos, and I expect many people who post videos would like to do more with them than Windows Movie Maker allows. But programs like Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, or even Pinnacle Studio cost money. You could just download the trial versions, I suppose, and you know what happens after that is anyone's guess. <clears throat> but that's a digression. There are many free video editors out there, but from what I've seen, most are either not much better than Windows Movie Maker, or else they're for Linux. And most people with Windows can't be bothered to dual boot Windows and Linux. A bit of digging, and I came across a program called Wax from Debug Mode. It's very feature-rich, it's completely free, and it's able to do pretty much all the fun things I like doing with video clips. So, here is a quick tutorial that mixes the basics of wax usage and some of the fun things we can do with video clip manipulation. Right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up wax. So, quick little double click, and there we are. Nice and quick, just the way I like it. <coughs> now, this is not the most cluttered or complicated user interface you're ever going to come across. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory, but I'll go over it all just for the sake of completeness. This is your video preview window, and it's where you'll find your video playing controls. So play, pause, stop, one frame back, one frame forward, return to start, loop. This is your timeline. This blue thing here, if you can click on it, is your timeline scrubber. This is your track listings. And we'll have a lot of fun with that a bit later on. And this is your multi-purpose drag and drop window. Uh, this is basically where everything you could possibly want to put onto this timeline will be stored. There are several tabs along the bottom, most of which are beyond the remit of this tutorial. But we'll explore them all anyway, just for the sake, as I say, of completeness. So, by default, we are in Media Pool. And as that name rather suggests, this is where all your video files and audio files and image files and so forth will be stored and displayed for putting onto the timeline. Next along is video plugins which contains various as, <laughs> plugins um, to manipulate in some way shape or form the video clips or whatever on the timeline. Plugin presets once it loads up is a fairly decent collection of um, various, you know, effects that you might want to implement or inflict upon your um. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> on your um video transition presets. Well, this is a very <laughs> Um, decent uh, selection of possible uh, video transitions. And uh, we have a selection of DirectX plugins and DirectX transitions. Now, as I say, all everything from plugin presets onwards is beyond the remit of this tutorial, so feel free to have a play about with that in your own time and if you discover anything interesting hey let everyone know right what else do you need to know uh, oh yes you click this you click this button to add any media files to your timeline um, yeah there's a few options here we should probably have a look at first is preferences now, as far as I can gather, the only, from my, you know, missing about with this, the only one you really need to 
consider altering is the dynamic RAM preview max option. It's initially set at 16, but I've rounded up to 256. <clears throat> and what that is, is all to do with is this blue thing here, but I'll explain that a little in a little bit more detail in the next part. Under project, there will also be a settings option. And this will be where you can set uh, various um, video output uh, options. So uh, video size, the frame rate, what the file name is going to be, whether it's video and audio, video separate video and audio combined, only video, only audio, um, what the compression agent is going to be, and so forth. I think that just about covers the interface. So next up to actually make a video.